Rick Wilkinson and I run Austin Ribbon Microphones and we make kits that people can make ribbon microphone on their kitchen table that is equal to a world-class microphone uh, that costs eight or nine hundred dollars or maybe a thousand dollars and our kits start at 250 and they go all the way up to about three or four hundred dollars including a stereo mic kit up there and we, uh, we allow somebody to make a very high quality microphone with minimal tooling uh, in, a, in a, an environment that's in their house. And you get videos, so there's videos that show every step of the process. There's also a uh, PDF that comes with that that explains everything in English as well. But the videos are non, uh, there's no music, I'm sorry, there's no, um, there's no words, it's all music, background music, and I'm just pointing, I'm saying yes, do this, or, or don't do that. Um, so anybody who can uh, watch a video can, can figure it out. So what are we looking at over here? Okay, so we're looking at over here. Let's start with the purple one over here. Okay. The purple one is my, my Model 1 kit, and it is a, this is what you get when you get a ribbon microphone kit from me. This is ribbon? Uh, this is a ribbon right here, yeah, so ribbon okay. microphone. Very so good. It, comes, uh, it comes in a kit, in a box. It comes with some specialty tools to help you uh, corrugate and cut the ribbon. Uh, it also comes with everything that you have in here and some templates to cut out the metal. You form the screen, you form the top screen, you glue the magnets in on it, bonded with uh, wow. uh, industrial super glue. You cut the foil and you crimp the foil so it has a little back and forth uh, crimps in it. And then you lay the foil in and you make the whole entire thing. It's not like a kid's puzzle where you put this tab in this slot. You have to actually build it. There's hands-on stuff required. Um, and then you tune it, um, by eyeballing it, and you, there's a, there's a uh, technique in the, the videos that show how to do that. And from there you uh, put it all together and put it in this case, and then you can try it out. It's a, it's a ribbon microphone. So all of these microphones that are on this stand are all the same. They're just in different packages. This one shows you what's on the inside. It's got a ribbon motor, the transformer, and then the output connector. This one over here is just a gimmicky microphone, the same thing that's built into a Pez dispenser, but it sounds great. Uh, and then the next one is a, uh, uh, a design that was done by a friend of mine. Um, and it's, it's a 3D metal printed body that he designed, so you can do whatever you want with your ribbon motor. Um, you don't have to put it into my body. You can this is the 3D printed part it's here? 3D printed metal, So this yes. is part of the mi mic, wow. Yeah, yeah, the microphone is actually inside there. Take a look, there you go. Oh yeah. And it's built into this very retro looking body. That's pretty crazy. Yep. Yeah. So that is, uh, that's the ribbon mics. And there on my go. website there are samples, there are some sample videos, there are uh, other things on my website, uh, parts and uh, accessories, and if you have any questions, anybody can just email me. I don't sell a million mics a year. I'm, I know everybody almost by name when they, when they buy a microphone, so. That's it. All right, I'm gonna get a shot of your website here. All right, there's one more thing I want to show you. Okay. And that is, if anybody, if you're soldering, if you're, if you uh, have ever soldered anything, you know what this thing is. This is a third hand, a piece of crap. But I have a new invention called the hot holder, which is a solid block of silicone that's molded for all the audio connectors that you could possibly think of, and it uh, holds them very tight. It grips them. It's got a space for wires where you can put wires in there to hold them. It doesn't suck the heat out because it's silicone. It sticks on your bench. It's got a little um, meniscus, so I can I can put it on something like that. It'll stick to it. Wow. Um, and it doesn't move on your bench, and it doesn't scratch the parts, and it doesn't tip over. You can put it in any orientation that you Let's want. See that thing. Oh yeah. And this is a brand new product, and everybody is freaking out about this. It's likely going to get picked up by uh, by a bigger company, and, and they want they're going to want their name on it. So that's example. pretty cool. So if you take if you, if you have this thing, this thing just falls over. That's what everybody has, right? If you have this thing, you can push down on it in any orientation that you want, and it's not going to fall over. You can put it in, and it's, it's, they're molded to the connectors. It makes the popping sound when they're in there. It grips everything very tight, and because it's silicone, it doesn't suck the heat out of it. So right. that's a new invention that people you invented. On. That I did, yes. Yeah.